Noise induced hearing loss. Noise induced hearing loss is becoming increasingly prevalent in large cities. Noise pollution is one of the most common causes of deafness in developing countries. World Health Organization predicts that by 2030, 1 billion people will be at risk of noise induced hearing loss. Some of us have less effective natural defenses against the impact of sound pollution than others, why? Recently scientists at the Pasteur Institute, France and Pierre and Marie Curie University have come with an answer. In 2006, Christine Petty and the Institute Pasteur's Genetics and Physiology of Hearing Unit, and Paul Evans at the University of Overnews Laboratory of Sensory Biophysics identified a new gene that is responsible for early onset sensory neural hearing loss. This gene codes for a protein was given the name, Pajvakin. Pajvakin, in Persian language means, echo. Audiometric tests performed on individuals, with mutations in this gene revealed an unusually high level of hearing impairments, in terms of both severity and characteristics. The recent study, carried out by the scientists from the Institut Pasteur, the Collège de France, Pierre and Marie Curie University and the University of Auvergne, aimed to clarify the reasons for this heterogeneity. Pajvakin plays a vital role in the heterogeneity of hearing system. The absence of this molecule appears to be responsible for noise-induced hearing loss. The discovery was published on November 5 in the journal Cell. They observed that without Pajvakin, the auditory sensory cells are damaged as soon as they are exposed to even seemingly harmless suns, equivalent of a minute spent in a nightclub. These cells need two weeks of silence to become functional again. With prolonged or repeated exposure, the auditory sensory cells eventually die. The scientists also identified the noise-sensitive element in the cell as being the paroxysm, a small organelle involved in detoxification. A genetic disorder could be responsible for noise-induced hearing loss triggered by even very low noise levels. The auditory sensory cells in people with impaired pitch-vacant were observed to be extremely vulnerable to noise. The scientists will now look into possible techniques to restore the function of pitch-vacant particularly using gene therapy. This has already proved successful in conserving hearing in mice lacking in Pajvakin, even when they are overexposed to noise. This offers new prospects for the treatment of noise-induced hearing loss. Thank you.